Hello everyone on Sonic Academy. This is Ksenia Ladic. I have been producing music for about 10 years, starting off with Ableton version 4 and minimal techno scene in Croatia. And in last years going more into experimental music and sound art with my project Xen and into trip hop with my band Tomislav. Native instrument software was always an essential part of my DAW and this year it was great to be in the sound designers team working on the new sample based synthesizer form. So here is a short taste of form sound. We have all the reactor instruments playing form, supported by Sonic Academy Kick 2, with nothing else going on in the master and no effects or EQ on channels. It's super raw and I'll be having it this way so that you can have an idea of out of the box sound that form delivers. I really hope you'll have fun with me diving into form through these tutorials and learn something in the process, so prepare your ears. With this video, we will start to look more closely to form structure so that you have better understanding of the abilities and ways you can shape your sound with form. So let's start from the upper left corner in the header where we have the sample select button that opens the sample select page where you can see the load sample screen where you upload and shape your sample. The length of your sample should be 30 seconds and um, here you can also see the selected length. You can also find the preview button that plays the original loaded sample. With clicking on load sample button you get the selected part that the instrument then will analyze and become the base sound for further manipulation through form. Clicking again to sample select button brings us back to previously selected page in the header when you click on form icon, you open the product credits and there you see the developers and the team. In the middle, there is the selector where here we switch between pages that will display in the main section. Next to that is the key lock button. It locks the effects off button to the current stage, whether it's on or off. So basically when you check forms preset, um, they are or they are original or without the effect units. On tune, we can tune the master output. That can be very helpful if we have loaded a slightly bit of tune sample. On volume, we adjust the master volume, so if the sample is quiet, we can make it louder, or if it's too loud, we can take care of that. This volume here goes saved with the preset, so you should adjust the volume of your presets here and not the reactor's volume, because this one gets saved with the preset. In the header, there are also controls for voicing and parameters that relate to perform section. Next to the sample select, there is the voice selector. And here you can switch between three voicing modes. With poly, you can play back your samples using two or more notes at the same time. The mono retrigger mode retriggers every note when you press a new key. And mono legato retriggers only the first note of a chord and then the other note messages are ignored. Until you release all the keys. With glide, we slowly go from one note pitch to another. Then here we have the reset phase button that basically resets the phase of the oscillator when the key is pressed. Then we have the spread knob. With spread you set the pitch offset for each voice. 
when you are in unison and multi mode. This brings us to perform voice selector, which lets you define how the perform section down in the footer will, will behave. It's possible to select one of three different settings. Single mode that plays back only one active performance slot. Then there is the unison mode that plays back up to four versions of the performance slot. So um, two to four slots depending on the setting that you set on the right. And you get a fatter version of a single mode. And there's the multi-mode that lets you play back up to four different saved performance slots at the same time. You can see which performance slots are being played down there in the perform section at the bottom right. And the last one in the header to the right is the button called voice amount. And basically here you set the number of voices for the performance slot to play back together in unison and multi-mode. You are using multiple voices to play one note. That means that you are reducing the total amount of voices you can play back together. For example, if you set the voice amount to two, that equals four available notes. And if you set it to four, then you have two playable notes that you can play at once. Now let's check what is happening in the body of the instrument. The main section can display the sample, sound or effects page, depending what you selected on the header. But we will talk about sound and effects page in our one of our next videos. Now on the sample page, it's really close to the sample select sen section. Here you see your selected part of the sample. You can also drag and drop the sample directly here into the display. You can also select the time frame with dragging these handles in the bottom corners. Here you have the pitch curve button that gives you the preview of the pitch. In the sample select page, you don't have this feature. How you see now the pitch, you can easier select the time frame of your sample. So, um, so basically to easier choose the timbre depending on the pitch. You can also zoom in and zoom out on your waveform by dragging the mouse downwards or upwards. When form is playing back your sample, on the sample page you also see the playhead and where it's located in time. This can be also very helpful if you are using a motion curve that loops or you are modulating the speed in the speed section. Speed and motion sections in the footer set the base of our sound, I'd say. While we spice things up in the sound and effects section even further. So we will move into speed and motion in our next video. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.